Ferndale schools are great, but many buildings are worn and in need of critical repairs. We believe the time is right to replace the high school and repair many of the other schools. We didn't come to these conclusions alone. We asked you what you thought. We had a very inclusive community process um, to develop this bond. There were over 70 people that were involved in the community bond task force. And our charter was to spend months and do a really deep dive and determine the most pressing needs the school district had and then develop a bond proposal around that. After five months spent poring over maintenance budgets and architect reports, the Bond Task Force prioritized the four critical needs to move Ferndale schools forward into the future. Number one, a new Ferndale High School. Two, modernize the Performing Arts Center. Three, fix critical building needs. Number four, update safety and security measures in every school. Ferndale High School was originally built in the 1930s and has added buildings and extensions ever since. Even then, we were creative with cost saving. We're looking at a 1976, well installed in 76 steam boiler that heats our gym and half of our high school area. You know, I remember a time last year where we, we had to email all our, all our kids saying, wear layers, the boiler's out. And it was out for about a week and a half while we made the part to fix the boiler. The Career and Technical Education Building, which was once the maintenance building, leaks and is inadequate for today's technology needs. Expansion of new innovative CTE programs to train future generations of workers is not possible in the old building. If we had state-of-the-art facilities, just think of more things that we would have and more that we can offer to the students. Real world things. And it didn't take me long on the high school tour to realize that uh, renovation wasn't going to cut it. We're trying to give them a 21st century education in a classroom that's over 80 years old. Really challenging to do. So yes, we wrestled with the renovation piece. To me, it didn't make financial sense. It wasn't a good use of taxpayer dollars. Right now, our facility is costing us money and maintenance that we could be putting toward educational programs. Physically, I mean, it's obviously really old. I mean, it's all about, it's really all about the students and like giving them a good environment is what is gonna make them like want to learn and want to succeed. We really need to start preparing our kids for, for jobs over the next 50 years. And, and honestly, kids in kindergarten in the Ferndale School District, their jobs aren't even invented yet. And how can we, you know, we, we need to create classrooms and learning spaces that aren't your traditional you know, square box classroom with rows of tables and chairs. Other buildings in the district also need critical attention, such as roof and leak and brick repairs. HVAC repairs and upgrades, new hot water tanks, new centralized controls, and an upgrade of fire panels are needed. We built the building between 74 and 75 and occupied it in 1976. It does need a little work. It's approaching 50 years old. The Performing Arts Center is a community gem and is used for performing, practice, and study. The community also uses it for events and meetings. But the brick cracks, and it cracked in the earthquakes, and that, that some of that needs to be worked. I know there's a heating system issue, so, and there's probably some ADA issues because we didn't have strict ADA compliance back then. It's a tremendous community asset, um, uh, and should be for another 100 years. Here at Ferndale High School, we have over 85 exterior exits, which makes it, you know, really tough to secure and keep safe. Schools in the past were designed to be inviting and sprawling campuses. Today, that's a safety and security issue, and Ferndale High School is too hard to secure. Uh, yeah, it's probably about a 40-yard walk to this office. There's multiple entrances. I, I run into people all the time way down at the other end of the building looking for this office. 
and just kind of wandering our campus. For instance, today I walked through the Fine Arts Building. I went through a door that said, must check in with the front office. I walked through this building and then I went into the next building, into the next building, before I even found myself into the office. At which time no one even realized I was in the building or what I was doing within the building. With the recent school shootings around the nation, it's been extremely stressful for everyone in the school uh, to be in such a spread out campus because it's so easy for anyone to come on campus at any time they want. A new high school and renovations to all of Ferndale schools, including elementary and middle schools, will limit entry and require controlled access systems to funnel all visitors to the school's office. This November, you'll be asked to consider a bond measure that addresses four areas of need in our district. Learn more at weareferndale.org. And don't forget to vote by November 6th.